Hello and welcome back to Gotham Sounds coverage of NAB AES NYC 2024. I'm here with Jamie from Electrosonics. How you doing there? Thanks for being here with us. Appreciate it. Um, so, you know, we've got the, the Electro line, digital, digital hybrid. We're really here talking about some of the things that we saw announced at NAB Las Vegas this year. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Now, what we're looking at is a new addition to the D2 line, almost ready for release. Okay, this is the DSSM, or Digital Micro Pack. So you're looking at a full range UHF transmitter, also available in the 900 megahertz range, in a package that is light and ergonomically comfortable for a performer, for any application where I'm gonna be using the transmitter for a long, long amount of time, or I might get into uh, maybe some kind of a tight uh, packaging, costuming, wig production that you see so often uh, in uh, film and television production, uh, in theatrical productions. This particular device, uh, like I mentioned, the, the UHF range for that crowded RF spectrum, great for traveling. Uh, you're going to wind up with multiple RF spectrum situations every time you pull into a new town and you need that flexibility of uh, where I can tune the transmitter. An encryptable device, multiple power output settings so that you can continue to customize your usage based upon any kind of quick decision you may have to make right on the spot. But a rugged Electrosonics design with a IP rating for a waterproof operation if you're in the theater or in the in the television studio that does take care of your sweat outs mm -hmm. uh, you can quickly drop this onto talent with some ease and know that it's going to continue to operate okay so we're using the lb50 battery which is rechargeable this is the new charger set where i'm going to charge batteries or i'm going to do drop-in charging Okay, so this is great for facilities. If I have to get a lot of channels out there, I don't want to have to mess with battery management. And I certainly don't want talent to mess with battery management. Uh -huh. so, so we don't want any of those things. So you can see it's, it's very similar in size, at least in terms of, of height. And it's a little bit wider, but the wideness is adds the the waterproofness it adds yes and and one and you've really really kind of gotten on it, mm -hmm. it but, but a big improvement over the ssm is if you'll notice the ssm consists of all these right metallic angles mm -hmm. and this in a, a lot of different kind of productions especially theatrical productions um i may have to do like a wig pack or i have to put it next to the body or something of that nature and we really when we were looking at the dssm we really wanted to make that much more comfortable mm -hmm. for very long-term usage. Yeah. Right? Um, it is slightly larger, mm -hmm. uh, but I think a great comparison is a comparison in size to a standard pack. Right, and actually maybe this is even a better, this is a better comparison, because in terms of like TV and episodic, you know, that is, that's the, the DSM. The one battery version. Mm -hmm. That's the one battery version. And so then the two. Mm -hmm. Where it's considerably. Yeah. So it's it's a similar size to the single battery version, but the, the sweat proof, the waterproof, because really like you could just drop it in as is. Yes. Just like this mm -hmm. with no issues. Correct. Like, yeah. Drown it. Yep. Fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just always have to remember that RF won't go through water, <laughs> so you do need to get, and we do have accessories. A lot of people, I'm sure you, Gotham, could supply mm -hmm. you with accessories to get some of that out of the <laughs> of the water. Right. right? Yeah, and uh, the the so. uh, the other interesting thing is, you know, that the Limo is waterproof in and of itself, but it requires a special connector on the lav side on to the make sure that the microphone yep, doesn't. That short. is correct. Mm -hmm. uh, so be aware of that in your usage as well. Uh, and I would refer you to the various microphone manufacturers for for the products that they yes. that they make. Yeah, at the but moment. But the transmitter mm -hmm. itself, you can dunk with confidence. We do it all the time. Yep. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, yeah and at the moment, I know VT is ma is the only manufacturer that's making something, uh, you know, with a with a waterproof limo. And we're working on that at Gotham Sound. So when um, you know when it's ready, we'll be able to wire whatever mics you want for a fully waterproof yes. uh, solution. 
Compatibility is with all D2 line digital receivers, DSQ, D or D squared that we have here in the rack. We have the 822 and the camera slot DSR, DSR4. Over here, we do have an announcement, uh, some things that we announced where we are offering certain products in a B1, C1 US range. Uh, so continue to check back with us on which one of those as we, as we complete them. But that adds operation up to 663 megahertz for the duplex gap operation, as well as the guard band, with of course the illegal parts of it filtered out. Right. Okay. So there's no end to what we can add for crowded spectrum use for the customer base, uh, as well as, as any operators who have to face multiple different RF spectrum bases. Now, do you know, uh, it, will you be making a uh, the, the DBSM or DBSMD in B1C1 as well? Yeah, I don't know at the moment. Okay. Yeah, I Got know it. for sure the DSSM is in prototype in, in that, as uh, and the DS, DSHT is, is available. Got it. So mm -hmm. stay tuned, but it's, stay it's, tuned. it's possible. Yeah. Yep, yep. And I know that the M2R, the DCHT, like those are in stock, those are shipping. They are. Those are readily available. Very cool. So, Jamie, what, what is your background? Oh, my background. Well, mm -hmm. I've been in the industry for a lot longer than I would like to admit publicly. Uh, but I started, of course, as a musician and an engineer. And then I started to work for manufacturers. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I really, uh, I was with JBL, uh, where I became a uh, production and live sound and touring Mm. Then I spent 10 years at uh, another wireless microphone manufacturer uh, as their tour sound. And in the course of that, I became their theatrical, uh, their theatrical salesperson, mm. or essentially for the Broadway market. Got it. Yep. And I worked over there for, uh, and then came over here to Electro about six months ago. Nice. Okay. Right? So it's been fantastic. Uh, just, uh, uh, it, it's funny they had to, 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 to to pull me up off the floor for the feature sets that are just given to you. Uh -huh. <laughs> Stuff that I had begged for <laughs> for a long time. And you're like, wait, it, it already has that? You just have to hit it, you know? Uh, uh, but yeah, that that's kind of where I've come. So I've pretty much always been in professional and been in professional production. Mm -hmm. Got it. Yep. Great. Okay, well, perfect. Well, Jamie, thank you for taking the time oh, to talk to by. us today. Uh, thank you for watching, and please stay tuned for more coverage from NAB AES NYC 2024. We'll see you soon.